today we are going through how to finalize wages for the financial year all right let's jump right in as you can see i already opened my wage master now before you um going through the finalization process for the financial year just make sure you run few uh, reports to ensure everything is up to date and you process wages correctly so click on reports and you go payment summary year to date so by default it will go from 1st of july to 30th june um, now again if you do have a taxation boundary chain in the previous financial year or in the current financial year you might need to change the dates accordingly but by default it is picking up 1st of July so uh, as you can see this is a snapshot it will give you total hours taxable gross um, it, what's the total tax any addition or deduction this is pretty much for the allowances and what the employee net pay and the superannuation for the financial year so you can do a manual calculation um, based on the what's the super rate for the financial year even you can go through if you click on the employee name it will give you the summary for and a pay period wise okay how many hours this employee got paid in the, each uh, each pay period and what's their total super tax and taxable gross once we confirm with that you need to run another report um these are the two basic reports that you're going to run at least before you finalization the financial year data you go into superannuation same run the year to date report again and even this is same it will run by the default from 1st of july to 30th june now as you can see the reason i um i'm Want you guys, I want you to run this report because of the salary sacrifice. Now, any of your employee had a salary sacrifice amount, it's not going to come up in the payment summary report. It's only will be available in the superannuation report. So you just need to make sure it's matched with your uh, financial year data. So once you confirm everything, you close from here. Then you just need to go into STP icon. Now, because this is a test wage master file and it's not registered for STP reporting, let me quickly open the one of the help article that available for you so this help article stp mark final pay reporting event which cover everything so pretty much you just need to click on the stp icon then click on stp update button then you can see you select all employee by default it will be select all employee and you just need to select the financial year once you select the financial year it will give you all summary including the terminated employees within the financial year what's their gross total um, superannuation and everything so um, this is another place that we can uh, before you click on finalization mm -hmm. uh, this is another uh, place you can review your data once everything sorted you click on mark all as final then you, you can see as the final paid checkbox it will be ticked for all of your employees then you click on report so once you click on report to ATO you get the declaration message and then you get this sent into ATO pop-up and also uh, even initially it will say received um, at the gateway but um, once they to your confirm and clear this reporting it will return it as success so once you get in success that's all good and that's where the your employee is going to see the tax ready option there my girl come uh, any dramas you can contact us or even you can contact the ato all right so thank you for everyone um, watching this video today and if you need more information please have a look at our help center articles or book a one-on-one -on -one consultancy and training session with our team all are linked in the description box. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also give this video a like if you're enjoying. Have a great day. Thank you.